Hello, thanks for joining me for another video on Mac OS Sonoma. In this one, we're going to talk about battery drain. Have you upgraded to Mac OS Sonoma and noticed that your Mac's battery drains more quickly than it used to? If so, you're probably wondering why that is and what you can do about it. And that's exactly what we're going to cover in this video. Before we get down to why your battery might drain more quickly running Mac OS Sonoma, did you know that one way to reduce battery drain is to free up RAM? If you've got a recent Mac that came with 8GB of RAM, you'll probably know that it can get pretty full quickly. And when that happens, your Mac has to use your startup disk as virtual RAM. That means reading and writing data between the SSD and your Mac's CPU and GPU, which is slower than using RAM and more energy intensive, so it drains the battery more quickly. The easiest way to free up RAM is to use the maintenance module in Clean My Mac X. It makes it really easy, and you can free up RAM in just a couple of clicks. Best of all, Clean My Mac X is free to download. You can download it from the link in the description. Now back to Sonoma and battery drain. Does Sonoma drain the battery more quickly than Ventura? Probably. A little bit. That's because Sonoma is more demanding of your Mac's resources like CPU, GPU, and RAM. We know that because there are some Macs that will run Ventura but won't run Sonoma. And the more CPU or GPU cycles process is needed, the more energy they need, and that energy, unless your Mac is plugged into the mains, comes from the battery. What if the battery is draining much more quickly? If the battery drain you've noticed since you upgraded to Sonoma is significantly higher than under Ventura, there's probably something else going on. If you've just upgraded, it could be that Spotlight is re-indexing or Photos is syncing. You can check both of those things to rule them out. Click the Spotlight icon in the menu bar and search for something. If you see a message saying Spotlight is indexing, that could be why your battery is draining more quickly. Launch Photos. Click on Library in the sidebar and look for a status message at the bottom of the window. If you see one that says it's syncing, that could also drain the battery more quickly. You should also check if Time Machine is backing up your Mac by clicking on the Time Machine menu in the menu bar, and if apps are updating by clicking Launchpad in the dock. If none of those is causing the battery drain, the next step is to do some detective work with Activity Monitor. Go to your Applications folder, then Utilities, and launch Activity Monitor. Click the top of the percent CPU column to order processes by the CPU cycles they're using. If you see any that are using a huge percentage, then choose them and click the X in the toolbar. If there's nothing, do the same with the percentage GPU column. Okay, so we now know one cause of battery drain, processes using lots of CPU or GPU cycles. But what can you do to reduce it? Here's a few ideas. Close browser tabs you don't need right now. Quit applications that you're not using at the moment. Update applications. Switch on low power mode in system settings, battery. And if you notice your Mac's fans spinning up a lot and you're in a hot room, move somewhere cooler if you can so they don't have to work so hard. One last tip. One hidden cause of your Mac's battery draining quickly is processes that launch automatically at startup and you may not even realize are running. They're usually part of an application you have installed and are run in the background so they can, for example, check for updates, back up your Mac, or scan for malware. Some are useful and important, and you should leave those alone, but others don't need to be there and could slow your Mac down or even cause battery drain. You can manage and see them in Clean My Mac X. Its optimization module lists all the launch agents and login items on your Mac and allows you to disable them with a couple of clicks. If you find any you don't think you need, it's worth disabling them to see if that stops your battery from draining. I hope that now we've explained what causes battery drain in macOS Sonoma, you're able to work out whether what you've seen on your Mac is just the result of a new, more demanding operating system getting set up, or is something else, and that you can use the tips above to fix it. If this video has been helpful, please click subscribe so you don't miss the next one.